Okay, here at Ray's Repairs, we are currently experiencing a high volume of broken down compact automobiles that have been long neglected and had zero maintenance throughout their lifetime. We assure you that your car is important to us and we will get to your car as soon as possible. Let's see if it has AC. All right, it lives. <laughs> oh, okay, great. this isn't my car, it's a Toyota Corolla or something. Camry? Corolla. Yeah, Corolla LE. Uh, Customer State's grinding noise. Check it out. That is... Uh, it's awesome. Yeah, Customer State's, it just started making that noise. <laughs> That's just great. Uh, it'll be okay though. It needs a bearing assembly in here. But yeah, so I thought you guys do... would like this one. Cut. So this is gonna come out one of two ways, easily or not. Oh, uh, whoa. That easily. Happen. Anyway, so here's the vacuum plate, parking brake assembly, adjuster, parking brake cable. You got me. I need to amend that last statement. It's gonna come out one of three ways. It's easily, not easily, or it's gonna fly out and hit me in the foot. Uh, it chose option C. Okay, so my guy's got both of these uh, wheel bearings removed right here. Let's see if you can hear this one. Hear that crustiness going on in there? That's nasty. And this one, I can feel it. It's very rough. It does not make as much noise as uh, the one that was flippy flopping around did. Flashlight gravity. Ninety-seven Chevrolet Silver Rado, fifteen hundred four-wheel drive three inch body lift. I think it's got a 350. Here for a brake inspection. Now, while I was in here, I noticed some, some custom work, which is pretty cool. But uh, we saw there's a bunch of uh, like grime and sludge built up back here. So, pulled the wheel off and we're gonna pull this drum and see what lies beneath. Come here. <laughs> Look at that. That is all from that leaking axle seal right there. The differential oil has come out, saturated the shoes, ruined them. You can hear they're cracking. Let's check. Let's see if the cylinders are leaking. Come here, dust boot. <laughs> You're gonna lose. So we use a tool to help us. Oh, look at that. Look at that, it's not okay. That is very disgusting brake fluid. Driver side's just as bad. Look at that shoe. Yep, again, all full of cracks. And let us check. This side's good. Oh, look at that one. So I think it's safe to say we need a little bit more than uh, just some front brake pads. Hey Rick, try to start it. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, 
Okay. Excessive wear right here between the ball and the socket. Let's go see if we've got any. Oh my God, it's coming in. Look at that. Yes, it is. Holy snap. Yep, coming in uh, right through that seal that I thought was good. Okay, found the problem. It appears that they are a fan of the drywall screw mod, which that's okay. If it works, it works. Ooh, this is a fully custom. This is the bent drywall screw mod. That's how you know you're fancy. Oh, come out of there, you. Ah, come on. Needs more twisty wobblies. Oh, the whole panel's about to fall off. Seriously, yeah, the whole panel. All right. Oh, what I, I didn't really want to take the whole panel off. I just wanted to get a hold of the module to see if we have power and ground. The frame could break in half when I go to lift this thing up. This is bad. Oh, dang. Yep. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, nice. It's got a high performance non-exhaust system. This is good stuff right here. Okay. All right, something happened. I heard some some clicks, and they they didn't sound like good clicks either. Oh, I see some some frame on the floor. Well, yeah, it's still there. Hmm. Okay. Nice. All right, so. Here was my plan, and you'll see why I said was in a moment. See, I was going to take this piece of a quarter inch plate steel and uh, cut it to fit and make a scab right here on the frame rail. Maybe like there, and then the other piece right there, drill the holes in there, and just shore all this up some, maybe tack it on in a couple spots to, uh, you know, just kind of reinforce what, whatever's left right here. But, um, when I got down under and saw the inside of the frame, I have changed my mind because there is zero structure left to support this. The, the whole frame has collapsed and is no longer there. I, I can't even attempt to make a repair on this. Um, people are going to be mad at me, but I, I've got to abandon this one and, uh, and tell them no. There's there's nothing left here. It's not possible. I thought this was just C-channeled frame, but it's full box on the on this side right here where the steering gear goes on. Yep. Well, we're looking at the same thing here. See how that's nice and flat, and there's a full box on the frame. This side no longer has a box. It's it's over. It it can't be done. This is a hundred percent no. Uh, I'm gonna go wreck some people's days. This guy's gonna be mad at me. Oh, there's a uh, no sense in Cutting this off right now. Let's at least take a tour of what's going on here Let's See just how bad the rest of it is. Yeah. Yep over here on the passenger side. We can see holes opening up There's nothing left Yep pieces flaking off up here, look at that. I mean, this stuff, that's whatever. It's not really, really structural. But the rest of it, that's a problem. This is a big problem. Ooh, nice. Look at the cross members for the bed. Oh, let me set up some, this is good. That converter is in good shape. Oh, look at that, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh-oh. Our lift kit wasn't very well thought out. <laughs> That's skill right there. 
Okay, I think that's gonna be a wrap for this one. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see all of you in the next one. Have a great day. See you guys later. Legacy Outback, it's the big one. A lot of junk in the trunk. And customer states uh, that it has no brakes. Now my understanding of no brakes is just that. No brakes. That's not good. Okay, let's uh, let's try to limp this thing into the shop now. We see here that it's got the parking brake on, which is good, that feels okay. If this goes south, I'm slamming it into park. But, uh, let's see if I can, oh man, barely. This is gonna be fun. Okay, here we go. Got some skills here. All right, stop. Stop. It smells, uh, it smells herbal in this thing. Very herbal. Okay, while attempting to stop, it really has absolutely no brakes at all. So, it's a handbrake only. Obviously, I'm not going to test drive this because uh, it has no brakes. Well, it has no hydraulics. I mean, I'm sure the service brakes are capable of functioning, but there is no hydraulic action to actuate them. But, you know, I've been wrong before once, but I may have been mistaken. So, uh, let's get this up in the air and uh, see what we can do about fixing the hydraulic issue with this uh, particular Rubisu powering down. <laughs> All right, what treasures lie beneath here? Okay, brake master cylinder reservoir. What do you got going on in there? Not a empty, bone dry, no fluid. It's not good. All right, got the rack set. Moving on up. All right, let's just go ahead and start from the rear end. Let's see what the deal is here. I see some fluid already. Um, oh no. Okay, it appears that this line right here leaks and there's a bolt in it. That's the line coming from the master which has a bolt in it. Probably to plug off this line right here that goes to the right rear wheel that is leaking. Oh, wow. Oh, this is cool. Look at the threads right here on that brake line. See how they're uh, nice and shiny and flat? It means those have been stripped and that would have happened in the block right here. I can also see that the threads on this bolt are not the same pitch as the threads on the brake line, so that means they have damaged this block right here. Uh, that's gonna be unobtainium. Basically this little block connects the two, uh, the supply side of the line to the output side, which goes to the wheels. It's just a way to take two pieces and make them one. Uh, so that's not, that's, that's just not good. I, I'm, I'm actually kind of at a loss right here. And there's more. There's fluid up in the front too. This might be like the first uh, episode ever. Mechanic states, get this car out of here now and crush it. Hmm. These other brake lines look okay, but they, they they did some damage back here. Yeah, that's not from this car. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. Straight up, nothing going on. Okay. Maybe it's AC water.